What's up guys, D-Legend here. Gonna try the tier 3 or below challenge. Um, so it's basically a time attack from what I understand. And then um, you can only use tier 3 or below metals. So tier 3, tier 2, tier 1 metals. I really made some setups for this, um, just real quick. Just gonna run through it with these, hopefully. See what happens. 120 seconds, I think it said. So we're at the target. Easy. Oh, definitely forgot about the invisible. My bad, I'll go back later. Yeah, it's just a, just a evolve. I mean, a XP medal, so no big deal. Hundred twenty seconds again. Deal some damage, no big deal. Gonna have to fight these guys, I think. So we're good for the damage. Yeah, finally. Gonna use my Nova yet again. There you have it. While we're here, let's talk about uh, Anniversary and how lackluster it's been. So we all expected some good stuff on the 7th of April for the celebration of the second anniversary, but uh, all we got was the HD Vanitas EX Plus banner and the free Jewel banner. I mean, free um, Moogle banner. And while those things are okay, I guess, um, we just expected more events and more cool things out of this uh, anniversary and we didn't get anything. So that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, no, I was expecting a lot of a lot from this anniversary, like most players, and I don't think it's unfair to, to expect a lot from, from Senna, because they hyped it up a lot, um, they hyped it up because they said, okay, no, AB2 is not going to proc, but, um, yeah, but they had the countdown event, um, to hype it up a bit, and then they had the other the challenge quest where you had to go find the uh, the Heartless at the end there, and that was cool too. So we all expected there to be bigger things to come from Anniversary on the day of Anniversary because we got those events in the, ahead of time. And uh, if those were just the start of Anniversary, we were like, wow, okay, what's Anniversary going to be like? So I don't think it's unfair for players to expect um, good things out of Anniversary from this game, but... As it happens, um, that's exactly what happened. We didn't get anything, so disappointed. Very disappointed. Hopefully, um, Senna can fix this a little bit um, when when the Dandelion meeting happens this, this Sunday on April 15th. Um, looking forward to seeing what that has to bring to us. I'm pretty sure we'll all be getting a few freebies from that and hopefully some good events and stuff. But... Uh, for the time being, I just don't see much more content coming out of this game right now. I mean, even this past week, on Mondays, we expect content, right? But all we got was VIP quests, and literally that's it. And I think some avatar boards, returning avatar boards. So that really did suck. Um, and again, with Anniversary, we, we expected more because there was nothing on the Thursday right before it, and there was nothing on the Friday right before it either. So that all just kind of made it suck. <laughs> um, some things I would like to see before the end of this month are a storage sale for, because JP gets, I think, 
for when they get storage sales, I think it's 30 jewels for a hundred for five uh, slots compared to our hundred jewels for five slots, which does kind of suck. Um, yeah, what else would I like? Uh, another another uh, Xion EX banner. Um, with with five pulls because they did a Kyrie EX banner, um, right before anniversary as well, and that was another big thing I wanted to talk about. Um, that banner was huge. It caught everybody up, if as long as they all had their jewels to pull to pull for it, um, they were able to catch up to everybody else basically in terms of um being able to buff and to be as powerful as possible. Um, if you have a double casted copy of metal, you're set. But uh, yeah, um, hopefully there's a Shion X banner as well that does it in five pulls. Um. Yeah, um, what else is there to say? I don't know, guys. Um, what did you guys expect from anniversary? Let me know in the comments. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, yeah, um, another big thing is that jewels, we didn't get any, like, we got 3,000 jewels. And, um, today, Glacy, I don't know if you guys all know Glacy is, but she is basically the spokesperson for Senna um, when it comes to public relations and just talking to the player base and fan base. Um, she's been doing a really good job overall, I think, and she has a really, really tough job, guys, so please give her some respect and just approach her with your concerns um, respectfully because she has a tough job. And uh, it's not easy when there's a couple thousand people yelling at her for something that's not even in her hands. Um, a lot of the things that we blame her for aren't even, it's not her fault at all. And so I'm just hoping that in the future we will be nicer to her. But uh, yeah, no, hopefully she does a good job of passing on our concerns to the development team because they are the ones who have the power. And they are the ones who uh, definitely need to make some changes to this game. I'm getting a little sidetracked here, but I don't know if I can beat this guy. Oh, I'm just kidding. We got. We're good. We're good. Or not. How how long do I have? Okay, I got 120 seconds. Should be fine. I'm just gonna tap real quick here. Use Chippendale to get some. Gage is back. Tap with you. And then I'll use Zeldin. Um, yeah, let me know, guys. What else do you guys expect from Anniversary? I expect a lot more. Um, like, content is a big thing that's ongoing with this game. We never get good content. JP gets so many cool quests like this. Um, like, every week. Literally, week in, week out, they get content. And we can't even get some good content for anniversary. That that just sucks. Um. Yeah, no, like that's just a big part of this game. I th I feel like they're just trying to make as much money as they can now, before Kingdom Hearts three gets released, so that they can end this game and move on. Um. It just doesn't feel like it's important to the development team for to make players happy in this game anymore. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, sorry, just trying to focus real quick here before I... Okay, um... Yeah, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about this whole anniversary conundrum. Um, it just feels like they're pushing banners onto us all the time without real content. Like, what's the purpose of having good medals if you don't have anything to use them with? Like, or on. Like, Coliseum is one thing, I guess. But, like, you can only do so much with Coliseum. And you get bored of that, too. If this, if this game wants to survive, they need to release content on a weekly basis and maintain it. 
It can't just be a one-time thing once every four weeks. It can't just be raid week. Raid week is so boring. I hate raiding. And I know most of you guys hate raiding too. It's literally just a measure of how much time you can spend on this game. And I'm not a fan of it. Um, I do it because I have to. For my party, for, for myself, for just jewels in general. But, I mean, not jewels, but uh, gems and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it could be a lot better. This game could be a lot better. And, um... Yeah, I don't know, really know how they can improve this game, but I think better communication is a big thing. If they're not gonna... Like, Glacy mentioned in her Reddit post that, um... They were gonna release anniversary events throughout the entire month of April instead of just on the 7th and building up to it. Um, and that's okay, I guess, but at the same time, like, if it's Christmas, you celebrate Christmas on Christmas. You don't celebrate all throughout December and after and before. And same with birthdays. You don't celebrate birthdays before and after the birthday. You celebrate it on the day of the birthday, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this entire thing. It just, and they were mentioning how they were trying to release a bunch of jewels, um, through, um, events and stuff, and that's fine, okay, that, that's okay, I understand that, but, like, uh, I don't know how this... Um, and that's fine, but, like, give us more events, then. Don't just make us sit here and wait around for nothing. This just comes to that point where I don't even know how much fun this game really is anymore. And that part sucks for me, because I really did love, love this game to begin with. And I still love it, but I really hope they make some changes soon. Or else it will not be fun for anyone. And I don't think I can kill this thing. Yeah, well, I guess we'll have to see. Okay, we got it. Done. I don't know how many more there are, but I'm pretty sure we're close to the end. And, um, yeah, I'm hoping for another high score challenge soon. You know I love those. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know I love high score challenges. Um, especially when I can compete in them, obviously. As a free-to-play player, it's difficult. But, uh, it's so much fun when you can accomplish something that whales have to pay million or okay, not millions but hundreds and thousands of dollars just to do so this is the last quest um i'm gonna go refill gauges real quick because i only have eight and uh hopefully we can beat this guy real quick here peace well, i mean wait not peace but hold on a sec okay we're back got my gauges filled up and i think i'm ready to go um yeah, one more thing I really wanted to mention was the Dandelion meeting. Should be a really good place for players and the development team to interact. And, um, hopefully, um, well, we're going to be represented pretty well there by, um, Smelly Octopus. Probably the biggest Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, um, YouTuber and player. Well, not player, but biggest YouTuber. Um for global and he's a super cool guy um hoping for for some good feedback from uh the from the development team for that particular event and hopefully the development team can uh 
answer some of the questions that we have, and hopefully Smelly can really just uh, get in there with the questions and represent as well. Um, another thing I'm really hoping for is um, fewer bait banners. Obviously, the players are going to be going in for the bait all the time, but we've been getting bait banners for days now. And I'm not going to be this, but new setup. Here we come. Definitely not using jewels to continue. Um, so yeah, this, this quest, like these quests have, um, sorry, I definitely forgot what I was saying before, but this quest has, uh, 30 jewels per, per quest. And this quest, huh, this event has 30 jewels per quest. And, uh, yeah, um, let me just make a quick setup change and I'll be right back. Alright, so I made a new setup. Hopefully this will be good. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, we get 300 jewels from this event in total. It's not a bad event. Bit of a change from most of their other events, which is nice. Um, but I don't know, I feel like we're missing some harder events like challenge cups or like just another Hades Cup or Pegasus Cup even. Phil Cup even would be nice. Anything, really. I will take anything. Right now. Because this game is beyond boring at the... Right now, sometimes it feels like... So if you guys haven't forgotten about Setzer, he's a really good metal. Look at that damage there. Crit hit for every single hit there. Really good tier 3 metal, if you guys have them, um, use them up for this specific challenge. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, like, event medals would be great right now. It would be great to have any kind of content at the moment because this game is dry as heck like look at that I just finished that entire thing in less than 20 minutes and I wasn't even really paying attention for half of the time so like I'm half asleep right now so it is what it is um got some decent rewards from this I know people like have the argument that you can't be entitled and that kids these days are super entitled and stuff but at the same time, I just, I feel that we have the right to be entitled to an extent. Um, because we've been loyal to this game for so long now. I've been playing for two years now. Let me just check. I have 706 days played. I have 1,501 uh, medals purchased with jewels. To be fair, none of those jewels were paid for. Um, because they're all free-to-play jewels. But still... Like, I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about the treatment that we're getting right now. JP gets way, way better treatment. I know we get better banners to an extent because we get orbs in our banners. But they just, they've just had Mickey and Brooms for ages now. Like, ages. So let me just collect some rewards with you guys real quick. I haven't collected my anniversary rewards yet. As you can see there. And I also got my 500 bonus jewels from my 700 day login. So... Let's just see how many jewels I get now. Oh, I'm over 10k again, which is nice, because just in case uh, Shion EX banner does come out, I will probably be pulling for that, because I really do need it um, for some hopefully upcoming content um, that requires you to have uh, reverse setups or upright setups to beat them. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully it helps you guys out a bit if you guys are struggling with some setups. Basically, all I did was buff up with uh, Piglet. I have extra attack on it, which is really helpful, but you don't need it per se. I also have extra attack on Owl, which decreases general defense, which is not completely necessary for this challenge because the enemies aren't that high level. But uh, 
If you guys have gauge restorers, definitely throw them in your setup. Chippendale and Iago are huge in this challenge. Or, well, in any tier 3 or below challenges. Like the fill cup. Um, use those for sure. If you guys have organization medals, use those for sure as well. Setzer is also a really good medal to use. Um, and what else can I recommend? If you guys have Meow Justy, I would definitely recommend it as well. Look at that multiplier. It's pretty crazy for a tier 3 medal. Um, Psyax B is also, or Lexaeus B is also pretty good. Um, and yeah, there's a few other tier 3 medals that you can probably use, but those are the ones that I use to finish the challenge. And so yeah, good luck to you guys um, with this thing here. Hopefully we get some more good content in the near future, and looking forward to the Dandelion meeting and seeing what uh, they have to say about that and what, hopefully if you guys are going, if any of you guys are going, please let me know that in the comments below. Um, I would love for you guys to get up some footage for me to put on this channel. I will definitely credit you for the entire thing. Um, just let me know if you have any connections of, with people that are going, or if you're going yourself, and hopefully you can get some footage for me. Um, that'd be awesome, and we could maybe do like a an online discussion about um, what went down there and uh, what your takeaways were, kind of a thing. But uh, anyways, catch y'all soon. Been a pleasure making this video late at night. Um, yeah, peace out, guys.